Back at CES 2019, Sony announced their upcoming Sony XB22 and Sony XB32 portable Bluetooth speakers. And I also expect there's a Sony XB42 also on the way. But over the last few days, Sony has been updating their companion apps for their headphones and speakers to support new unspecified models. But now, Sony Asia has officially announced their new Sony WH-XB700s. Now, I'm going to tell you what the new Sony WH-XB700s are all about and what it could also mean for upcoming yet-to-be-announced new products. So, like I've been saying for a while now, I love my Sony 1000 XM3s. But, I think it's time for Sony to update and redesign their Sony Huron 2s and Sony XB950N ones, because they're just huge compared to all the newer headphones out there. And I think the Sony WH-XB700s are the beginning of that. Now first off, the Sony WH-XB700s are going to be a part of Sony's extra bass headphone lineup. So they're going to be for bass heads who really like bass in their music. So you shouldn't compare them directly to the Sony WH-CH700N, aka the Sony Watcha 700N, because these are Sony's entry-level active noise cancelling headphones. The Sony XB700s don't even have active noise cancellation. They do, however, have an advertised battery life of 30 hours, they charge via a USB-C port, thank god, and they have fast charging rated at 10 minutes, gets you an hour and a half of playback time. But most importantly, the Sony WH-XB700s have a new, subtle, more low-profile design, which just looks much better than the older Sony Extra Bass headphones. The Sony WH-XB700s are slated to be released in Asia later this month, and they should be released in the States in around April for around $175 or $200. But this is where the speculation begins. Sony follows a pretty basic naming structure when it comes to their consumer products. Their most premium ANC headphones are denoted by having a 1000 in their name, and as the price moves down, that number also decreases. So for example, there's the Sony WH-1000XM3s, which are Sony's most premium ANC headphones, retailing for $350. Then there's the Sony WH-H900N, which are slightly more affordable ANC headphones targeted towards a younger crowd, retailing for $300. Then there's the Sony WH-H800s, which are an on-ear version of the previous headphones, retailing for $230. And finally, there's the Sony WH-CH700Ns retailing for $200. Hopefully, you're seeing a pattern here. So it's my guess that the Sony WH-XB700s are Sony's new entry-level extra bass headphones, and we could see a similar looking but improved Sony WH-XB900 or WH-XB1000 to be the true successor to the current Sony MDR-XB950N ones. Personally, I think Sony WH-XB900 is more likely, but with them, uh, I think we would see an asking price of around $300, but also see some major improvements over the Sony WH-XB700s and Sony XB950N1s. Since the WH-XB700s are a pair of on-ear headphones, I would like to see Sony's more high-end extra bass headphones to be over-ear headphones with more spacious ear cups than what's currently found on the current Sony XB950N1s. I also think the WH-XB900s would have improved active noise cancellation over the XB950N1s, but not as good as the 1000XM3s. And to keep costs down, I think the WH xb 900s will be sticking to physical control buttons instead of having a touchpad like the 1000XM3s. And obviously, I think USB-C is a given on the WH-XB900s, but I would like to see better fast charging than what's found on the current WH-XB700. So to wrap everything up, the Sony WH-XB700s look like a cool pair of budget-friendly extra bass headphones that I'm obviously going to be reviewing. And Sony did exactly what they needed to do. They have much better battery life, they have USB-C charging, 
but most importantly, they have a new low profile, much sleeker design. Cause I mean, you gotta have some Apple levels of courage to wear the Sony XB950N ones out in public. But I highly doubt these are the true successors to the current Sony XB950N ones. So I wouldn't go directly comparing the two. I think Sony has a little extra something in the pipeline, but this is a good start. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any of the products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.